Hi, it's Miss Becky with the Madison Library. Guess what? Ducky Daddle has a valentine. Grandpa Bob tells a story about Ducky Daddle's first valentine. I bet you're wondering who it is. Well, so were his cousins. Do you remember these cousins? Dizzy Dean Duck, Daffy Diddle Duck, Stuck Duck, Davy Duck, and Dirty Duck? Well, they're all in the story too. I can't wait to find out what happens. Hi, this is Grandpa Bob again, and I have another story about Ducky Daddle that I wanted to pass on to you. Remember in the last story, Ducky Daddle was finding out what winter really was like, and he stayed up in the north in uh, uh, the mountains of New York and on a little lake there until it really got cold, and then he flew down south with his family to Ross Barnett, Barnett uh, Reservoir. And this day, uh, after he got back, he was meeting with his cousins. He was happy to see them again, and they were happy to see him. And you remember the cousins from the earlier stories? There was Dizzy Dean Duck, Daffy Diddle Duck, and Stuck Duck, and Divey Duck, and of course, there was Dirty Duck. So they were in the stories earlier. And then there was a, a story about another duck named David Duck that he became a very good friend of. And he found out that David Duck had a sister named Dancing Duck, who was really very pretty. So in, when D Ducky Daddle got back to the reservoir uh, this winter and, and uh, he met with all of his cousins and his friends, they were all there. And the first thing they wanted to know was, Ducky Daddle, what was winter really like up north? Because we've never seen that kind of winter. So Ducky Daddle told him how cold it got and how the lake got frozen. The water turned to ice and, and uh, got very thick. And I think here, here was a picture that uh, Ducky Daddle had of the lake. This was just when the lake, you can see in the background, the lake was frozen and the trees had some snow on them. There was snow on the ground and this was winter. And, but Ducky Daddle said he could get through that okay. But then later on in the winter, as it got colder and colder, he was going by Grandpa Bob's house one day and he saw this. Do you recognize that? Those are icicles and that's formed by the, the snow on the roof melting a little bit and coming down and the drops coming down and, and freezing right there. And so this was, these were frozen icicles right off of Grandpa Bob's roof and they were as big as Grandpa Bob. They were huge. So Ducky Daddle said that's when he decided he had to go south. And so he told his mom and dad, let's go south. And that's how they got there. So they were all glad to see him and they all were interested in hearing about how things were up in the north during the winter time. Later on during the day, when Ducky Daddle went home in the afternoon to be with his mom and dad, he talked to his mom and he said, you know, there's a day coming up. It's called Valentine's Day. Can you tell me what that's all about? And she said, well, I'll just tell you this. Uh, what happens is that people think of uh, on Valentine's Day of a special friend and they get them a gift or they take them out and do something. But you spend that day thinking and being with a special friend. And she said to Ducky Daddle, do you have a special friend? And Ducky Daddle said, uh, I don't know. Uh, I have to think about that. So Ducky Daddle did think about that. And he thought about that. And he thought about that. And he finally decided, you know, I remember, do you, maybe you remember this story too about Ducky Daddle meeting Dancing Duck. And it happened when Ducky Daddle was over the to their house to see David Duck in Massachusetts. And Dancing Duck came out and she needed someone to go to the school with her for a school dance. And Ducky Daddle said he would go and he did go. And he had to learn how to dance first and he did. And he had a wonderful time. And after that, he, he kept thinking about her. She was kind of special. So when his mother asked, do you have a special friend? Ducky Daddle thought about it, and now he decided, yes, I do, it's Dancing Duck. And so the next day when they were out, he was playing with his cousins and, and, and with David Duck out on the water, uh, he saw Dancing Duck come swimming by, and David and uh, Ducky Daddle decided, I'm gonna go talk to her. 
So he went, he left his cousins and his friends and he went over to see Dancing Duck. And as always, Dancing Duck was so pretty and so nice that Ducky Daddle was really impressed. And so he said to her, Dancing Duck, uh, Valentine's Day is coming and I wondered if you would like to go out with me and we could do something uh, all day on that, that day. And she said, well, what would that be? And he said, uh, we could fly around the reservoir and look at all the things around the reservoir. And uh, I'll bring a picnic. We can stop and have a picnic there at a nice place. So she said, well, I'd like to do that, but I have to ask my mom first. So they flew over to where her mom was. And she told her mom what Ducky Daddle wanted to do. And, and the mom said, and you, you, uh, Ducky Daddle, you're going to take care of Dancing Duck? And Ducky Daddle said, oh, yes. She said, well, uh, I never worry about Dancing Duck when she's with you, Ducky Daddle. So I'm going to say, yes, sure you can. And, but you just bring her home before it gets dark. Ducky Daddle said, okay, that'll be great. So Ducky Daddle said goodbye to them and he went on home at that point and he told his mom what was going to happen and she was so excited that Ducky Daddle had a special friend and that Dancing Duck was that special friend. And so she said, Ducky Daddle, I'm going to make the picnic for you. So I'll, I'll prepare a nice lunch for you. Ducky Daddle said, oh, great. So Ducky Daddle, when he went to bed that night, was very happy because he had a big day coming up. So the next day, when it was Valentine's Day, Ducky Daddle got up and he got dressed and he got everything he needed and he went over to, uh, he took the picnic lunch, of course, and he went over to Dancing Duck's place and he got Dancing Duck to come out and they, she looked beautiful that day too. So they took off and they were flying. And can you imagine what they were doing? It was a beautiful day. And here's a picture of what they went over first when they were flying away. And guess who that is? Well, you're right. It's the five cousins and David Duck. And they were in the water enjoying that beautiful day. Look at the clouds and the, and the sunny uh, day that it is. And so when uh, they, they flew over, I guess David Duck had told the cousins that Ducky Daddle was spending Valentine's Day with Dancing Duck. And the cousins decided they wanted to tease Ducky Daddle about it. So they started shouting out, Ducky Daddle has a Valentine. Ducky Daddle has a Valentine. And Ducky Daddle said, let's get away fast. So the Ducky Daddle and Dancing Duck flew very fast and they got away before the others could find them. And they, they flew around the reservoir and had a wonderful time. They saw some wonderful things. And finally, Ducky Daddle spotted this place called Overlook Park. And this is it here. That's a picture of it. And Ducky Daddle said, that's a wonderful place. Let's go down and have our picnic lunch there. So that's what they did. They went down and opened up the picnic lunch and Ducky Daddle's mom had fixed a wonderful picnic lunch. And they had that lunch. And while they were having that lunch, Ducky Daddle looked up in the sky. And what do you think he saw? He saw five ducks flying. And do you know who those are? Daffy Diddle Duck, Dizzy Dean Duck, Stuck Duck, Divey Duck, and Dirty Duck. And they were out looking to see where Ducky Daddle was with Dancing Duck. And he, Ducky Daddle knew that they were going to tease if they spotted them. So they stayed hidden in the cover. Uh, cover of uh, some tall bushes that were there on the Overlook Park and the, the cousins didn't see them and they flew away. So Ducky Daddle thought that was a close call, but they had a wonderful time on the lake. And as it got later, uh, Ducky Daddle noticed how beautiful the lake was at sunset, just as the sun is about to go down. Look at that, how pretty that lake is. And it's called the Ross Barnett Reservoir. And it's just beautiful. And this was another sunset picture with a sailboat, which I like because I always like sailboats. So they had a wonderful time and they, they went back. And before it got really dark, Ducky Daddle got Dancing Duck back just like her mother wanted. And Dancing Duck said, Ducky Daddle, I just had a wonderful day today. And Ducky Daddle said, I did, I did too. Can we do it again another day? Let's do it another day. And she said, sure, let's do that. 
So Ducky Daddle said goodbye. And uh, I think I'm not supposed to tell you this, but Dancing Duck gave him a little peck on the cheek with her beak. And that was a little duck kiss, I think. And Ducky Daddle went back home and he told his mom what a wonderful day it was. And he went to bed happy. And that was Ducky Daddle's first big Valentine's Day. That's the end. It sounds like Dancing Duck and Ducky Daddle had a wonderful Valentine. I think they're going to do that again. And Ducky Daddle got a peck on the cheek. What a sweet story. Thanks, Grandpa Bob, for another great one. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody.